Всем привет, меня зовут Ксения, я англомама и переводчик. На данный момент я преподаю английский в Christopher Art Club. И сегодня мы с вами поговорим о том, каким образом можно соединить английский и творчество. На примере такой темы, как геометрические фигуры. Ну, вы можете сказать, геометрические фигуры, рутина. На самом деле нет. Если мы задействуем творчество, мы можем превратить рутину в удовольствие. First of all, in order to play with shapes, we need to know the names. Number one is circle. Yeah, it's round, just like a ball. Then the star. We can see stars up in the sky at night. Rectangle. Just look, it has two long sides and two short ones. Rectangle. Square. The sides of square are equal. Each side has the same length. Triangle. My triangle is green and, well, rather small, but triangles can be of different colors and shapes. Oval. Looks like this. Mine is purple. Rhombus. Well, some people also call it diamond. It looks yellow on my page. But you can go ahead and draw any circle of any color you like. Hot and semicircle. If we add one more semicircle, we'll get circle, but this is just the half. Then I'm going to show you a very fun assignment. We're going to play ice cream cones and shapes. I already found circle, triangle and diamond, but I don't have a clue where to find where to put the square okay maybe here no it wouldn't work because square is here and this is square as well so I'm gonna take the clue and put it on the right place here I go then the oval is missing let me show you this doesn't look like oval does it but this is the right place. So once again, I'm taking the glue and sticking it over here. Wow, this is a tricky shape. It's called hexagon because it has six corners. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it will go perfectly over here. It looks yellow, just like lemon. See? It's get very fun and yummy. Do you like ice cream? I think all kids do. Now we go for rocket. In your art materials, you'll find some printables, so you can print it. And you actually can pick a rocket of any shape. I already made one like this. It has windows and the square ones. This one has circle windows. I will need scissors and glue. Well, and a good hands to cut it out. So first I start with red rectangle. Okay. So now my task is to put it over here. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Now I need some windows and my windows are yellow. So we keep cutting windows. I already have one, it's circle. Well, I would say that you shouldn't be afraid of giving your kids scissors because it's a very good skill. And then I just use some glue here and here. Now I need triangles. The biggest one is blue. So it's supposed to be like this. That's the top part. Now I need two wings. I think I'll go for green. Once again, a little bit of blue, just 
don't put too much. And on the other side, do the same thing like this. These, well, it's supposed to be triangles as well. But as you can see over here, the top parts are hidden because we don't see them. And they are pink. So, just trying probably to cut them out somehow like this. Just to make sure that I have the right amount, like this. Mm -hmm. So my rocket is ready and probably I can draw some smiley face over there. Hooray! Blast off! Okay, this is the matching shapes task and it's super fun because it has these very funny smiley frogs. Okay, each frog has a box and in the box there is a shape and this is your choice you either pick square rectangle circle or oval on one side and on this side there is star triangle diamond and heart so what you do you just cut it out using scissors and you stick it over here over here we learn to trace because tracing is super important that's how you learn to draw without tracing yeah circle square oval and rectangle when you're sure that you're already experienced in shapes you may take this task here you need to match shapes from one side and on the other for instance rectangle should match with rectangle star should go with star circle circle square square triangle triangle easy on this side we have a picture of the house but if you look closer you would see that it's not just a random picture it has a lot of shapes on it we can see the stars we can see the house with triangle roof walls which look like square we have rectangle door and two square windows and also we have an attic which looks like a circle window Keep practicing we'll go for another task here we need to color some particular shape for instance this says find and color all the diamonds so that means that you need to find the diamond it's one two three four and color them the color doesn't matter just the one that you like that's super good practice there is the pattern and then you follow it drawing the circle the square triangle rectangle oval and diamond and when you'll do all this assignment, you'll be super cool in shapes. And right now I'm going to read you a short but very pretty story uh, from the 5-minute nursery rhymes. And it's about ducks. Six little ducks. Six little ducks that I once knew. Then ducks. Pretty ducks. They were two. But then one little duck with a feather on his back. He led the others with his quick, quick, quick. Down to the meadow they would go, wig-wag, wig-wag, to and fro, but the one little duck with a feather on his back, he led the others with his quick, quick, quack. Let's just try to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six little ducks. <laughs>